The foundation has been assisting vulnerable people in the Tukavango regions since its establishment two years ago. The latest beneficiary, Galius Mutero, 67, from Kasote village outside Rundu, suffered spinal injuries 11 years ago and lost muscle control of his legs. The illness also affected Mutero's abilities to speak coherently. Marembo says he was touched after hearing Motero's plight a few months ago and started soliciting assistance to buy him a wheelchair. He has to be undressed by his own sister and looking at their ages, it's really it's frustrating and mentally uh, disturbing for someone aged uh, to be assisted in such scenarios by the younger sister. So we normally do our follow-ups, we check up on the family if it's what we rendered is being utilized as what it's, it's intended for. And we also do, especially with the psychological challenge, we try our best to link them to social workers that we know that can assist in rehabilitating the patient. Motero's caregiver and sister, Annalisa Motero, says it is an everyday struggle taking care of her brother. Annalisa helps her brother even when nature calls. It was difficult to get assistance. My brother has been in this condition for a long time. Taking care of him is difficult. As you can see, I have to bathe him, and when nature calls, I have to clean him up myself, wash the clothes he soils. It is really tough. Motero supports his four children from his monthly government disability grant. Upon delivery of the wheelchair, the foundation discovered that the sandy conditions at Motero's house will still complicate his mobility. The foundation called on other organizations to come to the aid of the vulnerable and less privileged in society. Chris Kupulo, NBC News.